hello guys welcome to mtech viral and in this video i am going to share something with you guys so in my previous videos as you know that uh, i talked about how you can create an ios application in 5 minutes and android application in 5 10 minutes a uh, web application in 5 to 9, 5 to 10 minutes so uh, basically what happened uh, one guy came to me and uh, asked me that uh, i saw your video about uh, uh, you you have created one application in 5 or 10 minutes that was easy but uh, there was a problem I asked him what is the problem so he told me that uh, what if I don't have uh, the laptop or PC to develop such application then how I can do that so I just uh, thought about it that uh, what you don't have a laptop or PC and still you want to create an application so then uh, I got some idea and here's the video in front of you. This video is for those who don't have PC or laptop to create application and uh, this is the best way you can create an application while you are in the metro, in the bus or whatever place you are. So let's start this process of creating an application, a mobile application by using a mobile. So this is an application name which is uh, Sketchware and uh, this is available on Play Store and the link is available in the description. You have to open this application here you can see there are two tabs shared projects and my projects you will go to my projects and in the navigation view you can see there are uh, you know tutorials and some things so you can get uh, help from there. So what I'll do I'll just uh, give you an overview of how this works. So you will create a new project, you have to give the package name here. So let's say it is com.example.mtechvirus or mtv, right? And you have to write your project name. So this is just a test. So test project, this is fine. And app name, uh, you can write anything. So it is a test again and here you can provide an icon app icon here you can change it i'm not going to change this but you can do this and here it is your version code 1 version name 1.0 now you will press on save so guys uh this is this uh, application is still under development so you won't get uh, everything here but uh th th it has basic features like uh, it has some layouts you can see here it has linear layout scrolling uh, text view edit text button image view checkbox spinner list view web view so what i'm going to do i'm going to pick an edit text here so now i'll click on this edit text and you can change here the edit properties i'll click on it and now i will set the width to match parent so it will look uh, you will, it will occupy the whole space and uh, here are uh, many you know uh, properties here you can change this like uh, however you want and now I'll press back now I have an edit text here on the top so let's uh, just uh, you know let's take a linear layout also here before doing this so I am just taking a linear layout I am uh, width is set uh, I am setting its width as match parent and height also match parent so that it can occupy whole space now I'll add some padding too right for all i will add a 16 dp padding so this is now it is good now i'll take the edit text again and drop it i'll click it again and uh, from properties i'll select the match parent and this is fine this is looking good now i'll select a button too and uh, i'll edit its properties too and i'll write this text as button i'll write it as go right so this is fine and uh, i don't have to do anything else now what i am going to make is that uh, whenever i press the go button the uh, url in the edit edit text will show a web view to me so i'll select a web view also from here and i'll put it here and it is already match parent so it is nice so this is our layout file and uh, when uh, you will press the logic tab then you can see here is your events or you can say that uh, this is your uh, coding part and if you'll press the three dots on the top then you can also see 
uh, your view manager or whatever you can also see the source code from here this is our source code till now so this is nice and now what I want is whenever I press the button 2 then it should show me a web view of that particular URL which I will uh, write in the edit text field so let's click here and what I have to do I will have to select the view which is our web view and here I will find a method which is web view dot load URL so I'll just drag and drop from here and will attach to this so here my web view is and I'll select my web view from here and uh, in the load URL I have to I either write the string value or I can select the edit text value so <coughs> I'll just take uh, just I'll just take the edit text value from uh, here which is uh, one second I have to so here it is dot get text and I'll just drag and drop here it should be filled so it's uh, yeah it's now now it's fine so I'll press this button and I'll select the edit text from here now it is uh, working good now I have to just press the back button one more thing I can do is that in on create I can set the uh, edit text as dot https so https uh, colon slash slash so that I don't have to write that write this again and again so let's do this so this is fine and this is how our app will look look like so this is uh, the you know this is my test project this is the view part and this is the logic part now I will simply click on this run application and you can see that Java is compiling DX is compiling and here is my APK generated I'll press on install button and then it will uh, show me the first activity I'll open this and here you can see it is asking me to write the URL and I'll write simply google.com which is the first most URL and I'll press on go button and as you can see here is my Google so you didn't have to do so much things you didn't have to give permissions it, uh, it it is done automatically by this application and it is really fantastic so this is uh, a very good uh, you can say that it, a tool kind of thing for your Android application from which you can uh, make another Android application and this is developed by MIT so this is all from this video and I hope that uh, you like this video and uh, subscribe to the channel for more such videos thanks a lot